Hey everybody, happy April. It, we are in a new month and this is when I would normally set up uh, my, my monthly spread and my uh, journal and with this also a new quarter and so it is a new journal. And so I wanted to walk you through kind of how I set up my my journal for the month. And something to keep in mind is I'm a pastor. Uh, and so this is something that has been very helpful for me in my own ministry because my schedule is uh, can, can fluctuate and I want to make sure that I'm being a good steward of the time uh, that I am using. Uh, and so instead of going to my phone over and over again and being distracted by, by the device, I have found that going analog and using paper journals has been super helpful. Uh, and so if you find this helpful or interesting, um, please uh, comment, ask questions, subscribe, uh, share this if, if you know somebody who needs a little bit more organization in your life, but do it in a nice way. Don't be like, hey, you need this, but like, hey, have you considered? Um, and uh, I know that uh, not everybody is gonna resonate with paper methods. Some people love their digital methods, but it is just too distracting for me uh, too often. And so going analog, let me show you how I set this up uh, and what my monthly spread looks like. All right, so this is my journal and uh, f this is for April. And so one of the things that I'll do is I will actually write on here, April, uh, 2024 and then a hyphen and then my closing month which will probably be June and then this will be volume four so I'll write a little zero four on there as I am working through this journal um, so I this is like I said before this is a modified bullet journal uh, solution this is the standard Leuk term 1917 dotted grid journal uh, saving four dollars i've got a start of a quarter uh for my table of contents right here and my handwriting is terrible and something to keep in mind is journals do not have to be pretty if you are good at making pretty journals i am really happy for you that is not my skill set um and so the I have my books I'm going to try to read this quarter, just keep a track here. I'm also going to have quarterly goals and intentions uh, on, on here. Uh, and this is something that I'll add to throughout the quarter. Uh, and then just a place to re reflect uh, on different things uh, throughout the quarter. Uh, trying to be more intentional on journaling and reflection as well. So then I make my own calendar. And one of the reasons I do this is because I have found every time I open my phone, it is a distraction machine. And so I need to make my own calendar. And so for something like this, I use a straight edge to make sure that I can actually have straight edges. And uh, in the standard Leuk term, I give go down a line and put my dates and then I count off six dots and that's my grid. And so on, uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday on one side, and then the rest of the week on the other, each six by six. What I'm going to do this, this time is I'm going to actually incorporate a weekly memory verse onto these sections, uh, as a way to kind of track what I am trying to memorize over here. And so that's something new that I'm working on. That's one of the things I appreciate about the dot grid and the bullet journal and the modification is you can experiment and you can change things as you need. Uh, so then I also do a habit tracker and it's daily. Uh, and so this is, I, I make a little grid here with my straight edge. And again, it is not pretty, but you know, I use this every day. So I want to make sure it's con consistent at least. Uh, and then I will write down the, a few big things that happen uh, from time to time. Here, my, my goals are devotional time, prayer time, 10 minutes of joke writing, uh, exercise, and food tracking. So I've already done these for today. And, um, and then I have a section for monthly goals, monthly intentions, and then just creative projects and video ideas, a uh, place to throw all those for the month so that they're not all scattered all over the place. And then this is my day. One of the first things I do every morning uh, is I will make this daily spread. And so I start my day at 5 a.m. Um, and I'll go out for a walk. I haven't filled all this in yet because I wanted to give you a 
blank picture of what this looks like. Um, and so I will actually go through and do uh, two, two lines for an hour. So from five to 10, that's usually my day. And that way I have 30 minute chunks throughout the day. Every day I get an email from my Google calendar saying what's going on. And so I will look at that and I will put my big events of my appointments in the calendar. But then also this helps me to actually track how I'm using my time throughout the day. Uh, and so this has been super helpful. If I feel chaotic and my, like my brain is sporadic, this helps me to know why that is. And so this has been super helpful. Uh, and then I will uh, make this task page here. Uh, and this is what's been helpful with this is as I am doing my devotional time, I will write the text that I'm reading um, here. And then I will take some time and journal out some prayers on this page. And while I am journaling, other things come to mind. And I know I'm not the only one who has this experience, but I will start journaling my prayers. Uh, something will come to mind and I'll write it down so that I put it someplace other than my brain. This is some David Allen, uh, you know, get, getting things done mentality. Like my brain is a terrible rememberer. So I need to put it someplace to remember so that I can focus on what I need to be focused on. And so that's my, my method. Uh, am I, oh, and then this section is just my health tracking. So how am I exercising? How am I, uh, what am I eating? I'm putting all those things in here. And if I do that, then I get to color in this over here. Um, and so my goal is to, you know, fill this up, uh, every, every week. And, uh, I don't always, but you know, it's good to see how am I doing on my, my habits that I want to, to track. And you know, if there's more that I want to change, uh, next month I can add more things or take some things away, uh, adjust as necessary. All right. That is my monthly setup. And if you find these journal method videos helpful, um, please uh, like subscribe, all that different stuff. I do want to talk about productivity and how I'm going about my, my work. Uh, and I would love to share that with you. And if you have comments or suggestions, I'd love to hear that as well. Um, but all of this is to help bring clarity and focus to, to the day to day work. Uh, and I, I do believe that, uh, without clarity, your productivity is just running around, uh, clarity first clarity always.